Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Rage Against the Dice and today we have an unboxing for you uh, this is an expansion for the Firelock Games Oak and Iron and this is the Ships of the Line um, expansion now in this you get three ships, funnily enough all ships of the line you get a massive first rate a uh, huge th second rate and a Still really big third rate. Um, so in in here we'll be getting the three ships, uh, cards, and everything else. So anyway, let's get into it. So these are additional ships to go with the ones you get in the star set. Nice. Color coded box. Well, these boxes are not giant hand friendly. We're almost there. There we go. Right. So as as per normal, we get um, stack cards. So you get everything you need to use these ships straight out of the box. Put that there. So three ships. So we'll start with the third rate. Broadside value of nine. That's a crew value of four. Weight of fire. So we're in you're in close. Um, you you. You're using the fortitude of your opponents, so you're much more likely to be doing damage. Very high freeboard, so you're going to have to get pounded to take fatigue. But we are paying for that. We're up to 37 points for a ship. So in a 100-point game, you know, you already... You know, you know you, this is taking a sizable chunk of your, your allowance. Rules on the back as per normal. Second rate. With double digits for a broadside for a first time. Um, fortitude of four, so you, you even, you know, you, it's going to take a lot of fire to be damaging you. Um, same weight of fire, same very high freeboard. We're up to 55 points. If you notice as well, we're starting to get quite slow. Their sailing, their sailing large speed is two. And their um, into wind is one, so the this is not a particularly fast ship. Rules on the back, and a first rate with a broadside value of eleven. Fortitude four, crew value of five. Same rules as the other ships are line. You can get. Things like um, additional guns for two points, which will get you up to broadside value 12, and that'll be 60 points, so over half of your force. And at over, at um, speed two, speed two, you, you're not going at any great pace, so it's quite cool because you do need your, um, your smaller ships to, you know, act as support. Because otherwise you you're just too slow to be doing anything. People just avoid you. Right, as as the other ones, all the tokens you need, your uh, your reload markers, wake markers, all of your status markers, double sided, and your nationality tokens for when you're captured, etc. Right, into nitty gritty. Indicator arrows for your fatigue, damage, etc. Clear plastic bases. And we're into some very chunky ships. Oh my goodness. Look at these. Right. Let's start here. With what I believe yep, is the third rate. They're all so chunky. Right. 
first thing I've got to say, that's massive. But, um, right, look at that. Third rate, absolutely bristling with guns. Very ornate stern castle. Even the little lanterns, that's impressive on a model this size. Look at that, look at the deck. I mean, look how chunky that is, that's rather immense. Right, so, start the bow and work my way back. So, like the rest, everything push fits. Goes straight in. And we are almost there. Anyone else, this will be easy. Yeah. Right. And there we go. As with all the ships of the ships in this line uh for oak and iron playable straight out the box because you've got the nice brown plastic for the hull the white well cream plastic for the um sails so it doesn't look too bad on the tabletop straight out the box but obviously most people want to paint them and i don't blame them and i've painted quite a few of these now myself and i'll, I'll not Ships are lined per se, but of uh, oak and iron ships, and I really enjoy it. So, we're looking at a 75mm hull, teeny bit more for the bowsprit, um, and 75mm to the top of the mast. So, I mean, that is it, the weight of it is it's a discernibly chunkier ship. Then the others. Next up we have what we got. This is the second rate. And that's the first rate. Just making sure I got these two the right way around. But they're both massively chunky ships. Oh look at that. Ho ho ho. Look at deck detail. Got these curved stairways going up there leading up to a poop a massive quarter deck again with on eight stairs capstan and look at that it is just bristling with guns very cool very cool stern castle nice and you know nice chunky ship look at because you see the difference in just the width and that's that's got some heft to it so let's put it together because again all this stuff slots straight in nice very nice Look at that. Oh, now we're getting into the big ships where you get that majesty where they are floating fortresses. Right, so what we have is a 80, 80 millimeter hull with bow spread. We're up to about 85 millimeters and over 75 to mast, nearly 80 to the mast, top of the mast, and that's without a base on, that is a very chunky ship, again, I know that the Victory was a, a first rate and later, but that reminds me of the, the, the Victory's stern, and here it is, the big, the Mac Daddy. The first rate. Three full gun decks. Very stylish bullet head. Lion figurehead on that. Cool stern galleries. 
stylish lanterns. And then, even just with the uh, the railings and whatnot, it just looks chunky. You know, it's everything about it. Looks like it's there for a fight. It's it's earning that fortitude for. Right. So. Get some. Oops. So once we get these masts in, we'll have a look at this bad boy. There, look at that. Now that you know, you know you're in for a bad time when this is sailing against you. So, we're at a 90, 90 centimeter hull, pushing, nearly pushing tip to tip, nearly pushing a hundred, 90 millimeter hole, I should say, and nearly pushing, um, nearly pushing a hundred mil total length and a total height of 80 mil. So, yeah, between the third rate and the first, discernible difference there, you know, much bigger. And if we compare it to our sloop. Well, yes. Yeah, there's not, not a lot of argument in that. Even comparing it to something like a galleon, which, you know, are pretty massive on their own. Yeah, it's, it's not, not even the same league. So, yeah. So there's our three ships. Our first rate, our second rate, and our third rate. All very impressive. So, I mean, these guys, they, 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 sorry, these ships weigh, a, you know, a lot. Um, a ship of the line box set will set you back, um, just over 40 pounds in the UK. Um, and I think again, this is worth it because 40 pounds, you're getting three ships. So we're looking at, uh, 13, 14 pounds per ship per se, but the amount of plastic you're getting in there the plus with the cards you still you still this is comparable to your larger you know your larger bruiser models in say a, a skirmish game so i think you're getting good value there but that's for you to decide um i'm i'm thrilled with these uh really looking forward to getting some paint on them because once you get into your big ships you've got a lot of little detail that like um people who want to get their paint paint on can um, really start to express themselves you know but you've also got enough like little detail there that you know if you just want to like do a quick basin wash or contrast paint it's going to take nice you're going to get a nice texture from it um, and you're going to be tabletop ready in no time um, and even if you don't, they, I think they look pretty good just right there in the box. So that's our Ships of the Line expansion. I um, hope you've enjoyed that. Uh, I'll leave links in the description down below on where you can get these for yourself. Uh, please check out our other videos covering Oak and Iron, where Kevin and I play ships from the starter box. Um, we do an unboxing of this of other box sets for Oak and Iron, so you can check those out there. And um, if you have enjoyed that, please leave a, a like, leave a comment. Um, if you haven't, please subscribe. And thank you for watching, and I'll catch you again for the next one.